tomorrow, uh, I say there's a, yeah, there is, it is silly money. But if I say tomorrow to Mark Owen that, uh, I don't know, we've got a hundred million to buy Cristiano Ronaldo for Everton, your favorite club. Uh, I wouldn't buy him. I think he's too old now. All right. Oh, goodness. <laughs> but, too old at 29. But, too but, old. but would you say, Brian... <laughs> we've would, got a youth policy. Would you say, Brian... That uh, the guilty party here is the fans. Yeah, we don't like more money, but here in Paris, they sure were happy when Zlatan Ibrahimovic signed on the uh, line. It's the same. Please let me go next. Please let me go next. The, this is this is the same problem we had uh, with the Brazil World Cup in 2014. Everyone cries foul of FIFA. Oh, uh, the fans actually think it's the sponsors' responsibility to pull out when really TV money is actually the number one driver of FIFA profits. The only way to reduce the amount of money FIFA makes would be to not watch the World Cup and good luck trying to get how many billion fans around the globe to boycott television while the while the while the World Cup is on but, the problem, the but problem, Mark can you have this, this issue of salary caps can you no, have salary no caps? you can't do that I mean you know the, the minimum wage in the UK was abolished in the 60s it was 25 quid a week or something at that, that stage I think George Easton was the first player who's, who salary broke that now you've got to pay market rates and the going rate is the going rate and because of satellite TV and all those interests mm. things have gone up and up and up which is why the English Premier League is so uh, lucrative is such a great marketplace to buy and sell players it's, it's a great but place you're to talking about play. the money go around here you go well exactly that's that's the issue I mean the first game I ever saw uh, as a child 1972 George best the great George best Benito will love this playing for Manchester United losing 2-0 to my beloved Everton guess how much we paid for the ticket 60 pence. That same ticket today, 45 quid, 50 quid. The seat hasn't changed. The quality of the football is less good, I think. Best was a genius. And I think this is one of the problems we're seeing here, that there are so many dreams and aspirations of little kids that get exploited by these people who basically view the beautiful game, as Pelé called it, as a business. And that's what makes it really distasteful, I think, that you see these things and, you, you know, with the advent of satellite TV and all the great contracts that have been done for the players, for the game, Fewer people can actually see the game on television now because it's not free to air anymore.